I want you to imagine the following scenario. You are the network admin at your company and you arrive at the office on a Monday morning and you find that the office is totally in chaos. Uh, people are complaining that they can't access the internet or the internet is very slow. Some can't access internal resources. Uh, some switches are offline. Some routers are offline. It is a totally mess. And the question is, how do you solve that? But most important, what is the problem? Now, normally in these situations, the network admins, they just freak out and they try everything that they can think of trying to solve something that they don't even know. Well, the best approach in this situation is to not allow this situation to happen in the first place. So you should be able to predict and prevent these situations from happening just by using a network monitoring solution. Network monitor solutions, they allow the network admin to monitor the health of network devices, routers, switches, servers uh, in the network. And based on the behavior, based on the information that these devices provide, as a network admin, you're able to identify uh, errors before becoming a problem. So it's like you're able to predict the future. Now, there are different ways to monitor network devices, and they rely on essentially a couple of protocols, but I'm going just to mention three of them. SNMP, or Simple Network Management Protocol, Syslog, and ICMP. Now, these protocols are supported for, I would say, all devices, uh, routers, switches, you name it. And what happens is that those devices, they will be reporting to a network management station or a platform that will collect all the logs from all the devices and will be able to monitor all the devices just on a single screen. Some solutions even allow us to monitor the network devices just by using the phone. There are a ton of tools that we can choose from, so I decided to make a series of videos where I'm going to show you how to install, configure and monitor network devices. Some of these tools are free and some of them are paid. So which one will be the best? I'll let you be the judge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Open Manager, a network monitoring tool from Managed Engine. It not only supports Cisco devices, but also other vendors such as FortiGate, uh, Checkpoint, and the different players in the market. Now, enough talking, let's see how to do it. Okay, to download Op Manager, we go to Op Manager website and I'll share the link to download in the video description. So you can just go directly to download and we'll be downloading uh, the Windows version. They support also Linux. So if you want to download to Linux, but the steps to install it will be different. And they have three kind of flavors. They have the standard professional, they have the enterprise and they have the free version. Now, as I said, we're going to use the standard or professional version and we'll be able to use it for a period of 30 days. So if you enjoy it, then you can just download and install the free version. The difference is that the free version, uh, you don't have all the resources available. So I just want to show you some cool things uh, in the product. So we're going to use the standard or professional version. OK, we'll begin the selection process. Uh, it should be straightforward, just like any Windows installation. And meanwhile, we're going to start preparing the network devices so that Op Manager uh, can manage them through SNMP. Okay, a couple of things that we have to adjust here. So we're going to allow these to pass on the Windows firewall. And we're going to click on next. Yes, yes, confirm. Those are the ports. Just skip these and it will begin the selection process. As I was saying, uh, we're going to use SNMP to monitor the network devices. It's just like uh, we're having a server to client architecture uh, and Op Manager will be the server and all the network devices, they will be the clients. So we have to prepare the clients. They have to be enabled so that the 
uh, server is able to manage them. So I have my script here ready. So that's very simple one. Uh, we're going to create a, a SNMP community. So this community is what we have to match between the devices and op manager. It's like uh, a pass phrase that they have to match. And then we're going to also send some SNMP traps. So whenever something happens, we want to, this to be sent to op manager. And here we said, okay, this is the host where op manager is installed. So that's the IP address where I'm installing uh, op manager and the version. So SNMP supports uh, at the time of this recording, three versions. Uh, we have version one, we have version two, and we have version three. And we're going to use version two. And we're going to say, okay, these hosts using this version will be using the same community we just defined up here. Okay. Now, another protocol that's going to be used to monitor the devices is SSH. Uh, so with SSH, Op Manager will be able to log into devices to uh, back up the configuration but also track any changes that happens on the device. So we'll be able to detect and compare, okay, which changes were done and what was the configuration like. So even in situations where the devices might fail, we'll be able to recover from the last uh, backup the op manager did, okay? So let's go to our topology and I'm going to use uh, this one from my course. So let's see if we have everything we need. So first thing first. Okay, so let's copy these and paste onto R5. Okay. And first we have to make sure that we are able to reach uh, those devices. So 10.105.05 and we can. So what about four? We can as well, 11, uh, 12, and 13, and 14, probably I don't have 14, 39, no 39 is not reachable, let's see, so, oh there is 14, so what's the problem, let's check the routing table. Okay, let's check the IP. Okay, it doesn't have. Okay, so I have VLAN 10, IP others 10, 1 of 5, 0, uh, 14. That's going to be slash 24. No shot. And I'm going to add a default route towards R5. I'm just going to save this. Let's see, can I reach 14? No, I can. Now let's check. Oh, 39. And let's see which ones did reply. So 11. I think those, those were the, the only ones. So I'm just going to copy this. Start with 11. Okay, paste. Okay, just double check. 11, okay. Now let's go to 12. And paste as well. And that should work as well. Yes. Okay. And now 13. Okay. You and now 14, we already have it. And okay. And it's working as well. So the last one, 39. So let's bring 39. Okay. And let's make sure that I have, yes, I have this in my routing table. So 39 should be reachable now. Okay, great. Now, uh, let's check our installations. Okay, so now we have to uh, install the database that's going to be used. So just going to leave as default. 
okay we want to disable these and start of manager okay the application is running so let's log in and it's using the http port okay and that's the first page we'll see when we log into uh op manager so we can discover the device and monitors okay but let's just keep it simple let's go right into a device it's recommending to use https now we can continue with http so let's uh discover one of the devices and i'll be using r5 so r5 has the ip 43 actually i can use it's on IP 10.105.05 and then we have to add the credentials so going to create the new credentials for this so I'm going to use uh, SNMP v2 so we have different options here we have SNMP, Telnet, Windows uh, we can choose whatever we want so I'm just going to use SNMP and the name it's going to be Cisco SNMP so it's going to be any name as for the community, we're going to copy the community we created here. So this community has to match with what we have on the devices. We're going to save this and we're going to select this community. Actually, I'm going to add one additional one. That's going to be SSH. And I'll name this as Cisco SSH. The username uh, again we already have this here so username is Celesio and the password is knock of manager just to prevent any typos as for the common prompt we're going to change this to I don't know what is this what card save this this question MP and SSH and we're going to add the device now this process shouldn't take long so uh, probably less than a minute or so and once the device will be added it's going to be in the inventory device okay we can see the device was added successfully uh we get some information from the device such as the ip address uh, the type of device is the cisco gateway server it is a router vendor is cisco is monitoring using icmp uh, the monitor interval is five minutes and we can actually change some parameters here now this configuration this is actually a template so op manager it will use a template according to the type of device based on this device uh some information might be missing or not so we as the admins we always have to tune adjust a little bit the tool so that it uh, gets the information that we need to know about the health of the device so what else we have here uh, we have the ip address table so those are the interfaces and the ips on those interfaces so if we go to router graphs nothing to see what about interfaces okay we can see the interfaces and we can also uh see the traffic that is passing through the interface so we can uh, look it in real time so it might take uh, a refresh every five seconds okay and we should see something coming up so okay you can see that just going to cancel uh we have ns ncm ncm stands for network configuration management and it is another tool inside of manager that allow us to detect changes on the device to back up the device configuration okay so let's enable this and i know that it's going to fail because uh, this template op manager use uh the credentials to log into devices using snmp tftp and i'm going to show you in a minute so this guy is going to be complaining all the time so i'm just going to use HTTPS and let's uh, use HTTPS. Okay, now we are back using HTTPS. So we have a router. Let's go back and we can see that it's it's clear. So we don't have any errors at the moment. As I was saying, let's go to network config management. 
and let's take a look at the details for this device so i want to look into more details yes as you can see it's using snmp tftp so it won't be able to back up the configuration we have to change this to ssh so let's edit and change ssh so let's see if i select ssh tftp no it won't so select ssh and let's provide the username and password so password i already have i'm just going to paste this and the username as well okay and the prompt again let's change this and save and test okay and the credentials are valid okay so we can close this and we have uh, it should back up now the configuration and we can see that so current version baseline version and let's click here on i and this is the running configuration in the device okay so now if something happens to the device uh, and we have to replace the router we can just copy this configuration and paste into the new device with this feature we can also track which changes are done on the device so let's close this nope uh let's see network okay so i have to go a bit slower otherwise it's going to freeze uh okay and this is the running and startup i want to show you uh the difference between one versus other so you can see um, which changes were added okay uh, that was modified so which ones were deleted none so which ones were added so this is what was added so the device is keeping op manager is keeping track of all these changes happening so this is from previous labs that i did so let's suppose that um, i'll create another interface okay ip address one 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 four five 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 okay so ip address one two one six eight one one okay okay the idea is to receive this notification on op manager but it might take some time because it's a bit slower so let's add the other devices and the process will be the same so i'm just going to pause and continue once all devices are added okay we discovered all the devices so now let's see what's the current status so if we go to switch 12 okay and we can see that it was detected so missing some information but just going to adjust some of the parameters here so i want to monitor every one minute and we also want to check the interfaces now was able to detect ncm we already know we have to fix this using or changing the credentials now there's one thing cool that i want to show you and that's the port view so we are able to uh, let me first enable this so we are able to see which ports are available which ports are being used on the switch through op manager okay it was enabled now let's check again port view and look at this you can see that port 00 03 and 01 are being used and we also have this information here which devices are connected to which port we know that 01 and 02 have these mac address and if we look at the topology 0001 and which switch is this uh switch 12 so we see that we have three ports being used 00 01 02 00 so this is wrong here so switch 12 should be 02 not 0 so we might have to rediscover these it's 10 mega that's okay but the port number is not the correct one okay so 
depending on the type of device it might have this error so we have to again tune adjust so that it reflects what we have uh, on the real device or on the running topology so, but that's not a big problem so now let's go to other switches and let's see we have 12 just order these 11 12 so we can see that it didn't detect the interfaces on other devices so switch 11 let's uh, reduce the monitoring time here also to one minute and i want to uh, discover the interfaces okay so sometimes it might have some errors because the snmp values might not be the correct ones or the template being used might not be the right one for that device so let's go to port view we can see we have all four ports being used so this is switch 11 we go to switch 11 again this is not what we actually can see but actually the ports uh, are enabled but they they are up they're not being used but they are up uh, that's the how we should read those ports so we can see that 00 and 01 they are up and being used and uh, 02 and 03 they are up but they're not being used when we can uh, adjust this so that's great uh what about so what else now another feature and that's a very good one is that we can use op manager as an ipam or an ip address management so instead of relying on excel sheets to track the ips being used in the network we can actually use op manager and let me show you how to do this if we go to network ip management and these are the networks it detected so for instance uh 10 105 okay we want to define this one um this belongs so let's create a group let's name this at headquarter plan and just going to use the same so actually say that this is uh my uh lab and subnet name you say that's headquarter LAN. okay villa name will be the same one so everything else we're going to leave as default and we're going to associate the snmp credentials and it will be scanning the ips all the devices in this network okay so i'm going to update and scan we already know all the devices in this subnet uh, but just uh, in case we wanted to discover other devices in this network that would be the way to do it so we can take a look uh, specifically to this subnet and it detected that uh, 10.105.254 is being used so let's order this correctly so you can see 11 12 13 14 they it all marked as being used so I don't want to extend this too much on these two because uh, we could take forever uh one additional tool that i want to show you uh let's see is maps so we are able to create layer two maps thanks to cdp lldp and other information that it uses so let's name this as uh, headquarter map and we're going to provide a seed device uh, just so that uh, OpMedic can use from this device and trying to map all the other devices. So 10, 1, or 5, let's use uh, 5. And we have to, okay, say which range uh, subnet we want to detect this. And we're going to say 10, 1, or 5, 0, Let's set zero here and one. We don't have many devices here, so the last one should be 39. And let's add this. And we want to select the credential that we created. And let's discover. And here we have the diagram it created. So if we can organize these a little bit. Okay, and probably okay trying to make a uh, sense of it 
and you can see all the connections uh switch 11 uh how is it connected so you can see it's not very precise because it's saying that host 39 is connected through this interface and we know from the topology that 39 is actually on switch 12 and switch 12 is connected to switch 14 but r5 is connected to switch 14 through e03 so it's kind of looking at the ip address and the mac address and he knows that this information is coming from this interface so that he assumes that it's directly connected but it's not okay so this is kind of some of things that you can improve to reflect what you really have in your network so once you are happy with your results you can save the topology and that's what you have so you have this type of maps and you can also create business views uh, you can create uh, 3d floor views you can create rack views there is a lot that you can do with op manager uh let's take business views so they have a sample business views here okay so that shouldn't be maps okay let's create a new one and uh okay let's just drag and drop okay so we can drag and drop the devices and we can also change the icon uh, being used and for us let's see we have 39 start 9 we know is connected to switch leave 12 and we can make logical connection here oh, you gotta be careful okay Okay, so I can make a link there. So between 39 on which interface, so it didn't detect the interface. So actually I have to get the interface. Let's see between uh, R5 and R4. We know that they're not directly connected. Let's, let's see, uh, where is R4? Yes, we can. But it has to be the right interfaces because uh, that's going to be used as the monitoring. So, okay, let me drag over here. Okay, and we can save this. And that's, uh, it's going to display this uh, in a nice format. So we can see which ones are okay, which ones have uh, error. Okay, we can click this and go directly into the inventory and look at the details for that specific device that we see uh, we have a notification related to a change that was done on the device that was not authorized change so this is it op manager a great tool to monitor your network devices uh, I hope you spend some time playing with it and let me know if you have any problems during the installation or adding the device into the op or adding the device to op manager i hope you found this video useful and i hope to see you in the next one